popping. It's your boy, Kaden the Rake. Kaden the Don. Ray Kill Kaden. I'm in a building. What's popping with y'all today, man? Okay, today's topic is going to be you will never be comfortable when becoming attractive to women, bro. And I want to break this down with exactly what I mean by you will never be comfortable. You have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable if you want to be attractive to women, bro. And we finna get straight into that, bro. But first, do me a favor, man. Help me with the algorithm, bro. Hit the like button. Make sure you share this, bro. And if you ain't subscribed, come on, man. What you doing? Anyway, let's get straight to it, bro. What I mean by you will never be comfortable trying to attract women, bro, or trying to be attractive to women is that you have to make changes within yourself that go against maybe your nature. Like, and you have to do that. And... In order to be attracted to women, in order to grow everything, bro, you have to step outside your comfort zone. It's just a thing that you got to do, bro. If you're not comfortable with stepping outside of your comfort zone, you when you get trapped in situations where you staring down a woman and it seems like your jokes just ain't going over well, ain't nothing going on, she, she ain't feeling your sense of humor and all of that, you got to be able to calibrate in the moment. All the greatest seducers, bro, all the greatest at this, learn how to calibrate in the moment, bro. You trying to get your ex back and you are you out on that date with your ex that you trying to get back or you she over your crib and you trying to you know what I mean re breathe life into what used to be in that thing or rebreathe life into this new situation that you find yourself in and you don't really know what to say bro that takes calibration that takes being able to step outside your comfort zone bro it takes practicing on being something that you might not feel comfortable with bro a lot of it is bro like becoming a better human being becoming a higher value male takes being uncomfortable bro you might be 20 30 pounds overweight and you know you're 20 30 pounds overweight but you can't get yourself up to get the goddamn consistency to go to the gym the way you fucking know you need to bro you gotta get out that comfort zone you gotta get out your comfort zone bro get up get uncomfortable bro you gotta go do it you want to know why? Because becoming more attractive as a man will never fucking be comfortable ever, bro. Ever. Do you think that these women, bro, are going to give you some type of pity or leg up when you lagging behind on everything else? Do you think life is going to give you some type of pity or leg up when you lagging behind on everything else? No, they not, bro. They not. No one is. Only person that could give you a leg up in this game is you, big dog. Just you, bro. So you got to think about it. Too many of you guys, bro, y'all complaining to me about what these women doing. Y'all complaining to me about how these women treating you. You complain about, oh, man, I can't stand these females because of this, because of that, because of female nature, bro. But you ain't doing enough, bro, for yourself. You ain't doing enough to learn how to calibrate to the game, bro. That's what... It's too many of these dating coaches, bro. And I won't even just get up on them. It's too many people, bro, who telling y'all what to do and how to do it, but ain't teaching you how to take what they teaching you and calibrate it to the situation. And that's the damn problem out here nowadays. A lot of dudes get into this robotic, like, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do when she do this. You know what I mean? When she do that, this is what I'm supposed to do. But you ain't looking at the situation. Real dudes who know the game, bro, when you got that, when you got the ism, bro, like we do over here, like the rake, bro, like me, the rake, bro, when you got that ism, then you know how to calibrate during your game, bro. So I, I'm guessing the next question is going to be, okay, then how do I calibrate, man? How do I get it to where I'm comfortable with being uncomfortable? Bro, how do I do that when it comes to my game? How do I do that when it comes to my life, bro? You have to step outside your comfort zone. So you got to ask yourself, like, yo, what's some of the bold stuff, you know, I wish I could say to women? Now, you don't want to be creepy. I always get out that woman. Don't be, don't be a fucking creep. But what's some of the bold stuff I could say to a woman, right, that I normally wouldn't say because, you know what I mean? I, It's just wild to me like it's wild to me that you could say that to a woman and get her turned on it's wild to me that you could say that to a woman and still have a good what's her name it's wild to me that you could cold approach a woman and open her up like this 
I call that the bold code, bro. We talked about the bold code in the last video, bro. That's the bold code. That boldness, that ability to, like, push yourself into stepping outside of that comfort zone, to push yourself to get a little wilder, bro, is going to pay off tenfold, bro, to learning a bunch of techniques, to learning a bunch of mental stuff. You have to get to the point where you're so confident with being uncomfortable, right? You can maintain confidence through being uncomfortable, bro. Like, man, I'm in an uncomfortable situation. I'm a little nervous, but I can still appear confident, bro. I can still be confident because I'm so used to being in situations where I'm uncomfortable, bro. Where I played basketball my whole life, right? And if you play sports, if any of you guys play sports, then y'all know that sports is a lot of discomfort. Like, you in a lot of situations where you might not be comfortable, but you still have to perform, bro. You still have to get up and perform. So I challenge all of you guys to just get up, bro. Get up every day and be like, man, I still got to perform. As if you was on a sports team, bro. I still got to perform every day, bro. It's okay to have bad days, just like it's okay to have bad games. Just like it's okay to have bad seductions and interactions, bro. It's okay to have bad days, bro. But every day you need to get up and you need to show up to the game, bro. You have to. Because being a great rake, bro, will never, ever be comfortable, bro. Being a great seduction artist will never be great, bro. Being a great Man of game will never be comfortable. I think I was saying something else like great, but comfortable. That's what I meant. None of that will ever be comfortable for you, bro. You have to get to the point where as a high value male, bro, as a man who know what he want in his life, or even if you just finding out what you want in this life, you have to get a direction and you have to walk in that direction every single day, bro. That is why when you dealing with women, you will never be comfortable because women are always going to adjust to the game. They always going to calibrate to the game. It's in them. They just know how, bro. They've been knowing how since they was little, bro. They naturally manipulative. And with manipulation, you have to be able to calibrate and adjust, bro, to whoever you manipulate. It just is what it is. Like, that don't make them bad. It's just a natural thing they do. So you have to be able to calibrate right along with them. And if you want to stay with that power, if you want to stay with that strength, with that greatness, bro. With that being said, I'm going to end the video right there. I just wanted to go on a little rant for y'all about why y'all think this supposed to be some walk in the park. Why y'all think this supposed to be, oh, my God, this one technique going to change everything for you. No, bro, that, that's not how this work, bro. Put the work in, bro. It's your boy, Kaden. Kaden a rape, bro. I'm out of here, man. Make sure y'all like and subscribe, bro. Like and subscribe.